This is Uganda, the largest producer of bananas in sub-Saharan Africa. Known as the Banana Republic, this country produces 9 million tons of bananas in over 95 varieties, which generate about 3 million tons of waste every year. My name is Helen Kawahukia, a reporter with Solutions Now Africa, and today we see how banana waste recycling is set to break barriers in the fashion industry while reducing waste levels in the country. We all know what is fast fashion is doing in our, in our ecosystem, in our environment, in our world. So I started studying the material. How can I blend uh, banana fiber with organic, my, organic cotton? I had many failures. Until recently, I had the, my first breakthrough of having a fine material where it is washable, can clean it, and yeah, it can develop a tie out of it. After every harvest, farmers discard the stock, leaving it to rot away or burn. Sadly, burning emits carbon dioxide and the rot releases methane, a potent greenhouse gas. With the burning desire to make a name, a brand identity, Maweja Muhammad Dima, a chef, got into an incubation program that made him fall in love with the banana fiber. He saw this as a new raw material to create sustainable fashion and artistic products. I had passion for art when I was studying my high school. And then from there, I used that particular passion to, to go into an incubation program. But then I was expo exposed to this particular material, like the material which comes out of the stem of the fiber of the banana tree, which has elevated me to create a, a brand. We head out to Chitegomba in Kasangati, 13 kilometers northeast of Kampala, to meet the rest of the team. In a small shack, Dima set up his Maweje creations, where nature meets art a banana fiber center that empowers the banana farmer and supports the youth in the community to revolutionize the art and fashion industry by making fiber products. We make various products in banana fiber, that is, um, we make clocks, earrings like the ones I'm wearing. Uh, we also make wall hangings, a table mat, a wallet, and a bag. And then, um, other products, we also have pen holders, we also make them in uh, banana fiber. The process is money and the labor is intensive, with the team having to use knives and pins to create the fiber material. So these are the dry banana fibers. We, of course, look out for the good ones, because they are the good ones and the bad ones. So when you are making our products, uh, they, for example, the clock, <laughs> the outer shell of the clock, we usually use this fiber and then we design the inside of the clock with this. These are the extracted banana fibers. So we get out we get them out of the banana stems. So what we do with these ones, we we weave them with a cotton so that we can get out a fabric that is later used to make bags. Uh, we've done so far wallets and a backpack. As an African child in Uganda, I grew up playing with fibers. I made dolls out of them while watching my brothers make balls out of fibers. Today, Kato Ashraf teaches me how to smoothen out a banana fiber to revolutionize the fashion industry. Exhausting. Dima is hopeful for the future as people begin to embrace banana fiber as a new raw material to replace environmentally degrading materials in the fashion industry. Training over 200 youths, he sells to both local and international markets. Indeed, for Maweje Creations, the future is bright.